Paul, thanks for joining us. We've got to start with the news that although it's only 2,000 fans coming back in, and that's great for football, isn't it? I think up and down the country it'll be, it'll be great. I think it's needed to, for fans to come back. And uh, listen, that's, that's the game's about fans and, and the guys that play it. And without them, it's, it's a difficult game. So glad that hopefully, albeit it's just little bits, but it's a start. Yeah, you've said before it's a different sport when mm. the fans are there. And this is just the first step, but it's a big one, isn't it? Huge for everybody, as I said, up and down the country and all the world of football, I think, um, which it needs it. I know it's, as I said, only small, but it's a start. You've got to start somewhere to rebuild it again, and um, it's just unfortunate what's happened, but uh, that's that's the world all over. But it, it'll be good to get them back. No travelling fans, of course, it's mm. just for the, for the home games. Yeah. and. Um, so far this season, Portman Road has proved a successful place for us, other than Tuesday night, of course. So you want to yeah. continue that? Yeah, the reform at home has been really good. I mean, we're only what, three points off a second by yeah. game in hand. So the club's in a really good, good place still. There's a long, long way to go. Long, long way to go. But we're in a, we're in a decent position. So and considering the amount of injuries we've got, so I've got to be happy with, with what's happened. Yeah, the injuries have proved a, a, mm. a sort of dampener in recent times. How are some of the lads getting on? Is there anyone to be optimistic about in the sort of short term? Well, I think you just mentioned there, Kane was doing really well. Uh, hopefully he'll not be too long. But the longer term ones are, are what they are, yeah. you know, so we can't Cole, Bish, Flynn, um, Freddy, a wee bit there with his hamstring. So, uh, yeah, we've got one or two that are still struggling. So Freddy was obviously the issue from Tuesday, and is there any sort of time frame on him, or don't we be too specific at the moment? Uh, well, I, I'm not so sure. But I need to speak, as I say, get this guy scanned yesterday, and we'll have a chat with the medical guys this morning, see how he, what they think, and see where he is. A couple of the Welsh lads, James Wilson and Gwion Edwards, are they hopefully not too far away? They're doing all right, settling down. Um, this one's still too early for the two of them. So, um, yeah, but they're doing, they're doing all right. Charlton have been very good defensively, Paul. Other than on Tuesday, they're going to be a real test, aren't they? Oh, it's a bit hard game. Yeah. I mean, they just get relegated a bit like Hull as well, so uh, it's a hard game. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of injuries, but but we'll go and try and try and do our best and try and. As I said, football wise, as I said in the first half and Hull on Saturday, uh, Tuesday night was really good. Okay, we lose a goal early, but we still dominate that half, and then we lose a really poor goal in the, just before half time. But football wise, we couldn't ask any more. The guys have given us everything. And that's all you can ask. Is that the main concern, eradicating those early goals? Because if you if you're on top in a half where you're level, it's a different story, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think I think what's happened with the Shrewsbury game is, I think people has a perception we lost that one because we lost yeah. our first goal. We actually won it, so uh, we okay. We lost the hill. And that happened, but the football we played was good. But you've got to yeah stop the early goals to give yourself a foothold in the game.